Hi, today's guitar book review is on a, a very influential and, and famous one, certainly for people my kind of age. Um, it's The Complete Guitar Player, book one by Russ Shipton. Uh, now I've got two here, and this one was published in 1980, this one's in 2000, and this is just the, the new edition of this. Uh, so I've had a quick look through them and compared them. Now I, the, not this one, but I'd have had this one probably around that time actually, or early 80s, I'm, I'm sure I had a copy of this. I think I had several of his books. Um, and I haven't really looked at it since, well, I don't know when, since the mid 80s probably. So it was interesting to, interesting to go back to it. Uh, and his, his style and the, the, the way he's, he's written the book and the way it's all laid out is kind of quite unique, I think, and it's good, and it's, it's different to a lot of the other books, or most of the other books I've looked at, actually. And it's, it's good, I think, the way it's laid out. It's still a good book to have. I think when I got this, some of the, the songs seemed a little bit dated, perhaps, even in the 80s. Um, well, that doesn't really make that much difference if you're looking at this book now. They're still going to maybe seem a bit dated, but it depends what kind of music you're into, really. But it's very much kind of folky rock sort of acoustic-y stuff. Um, he's obviously a big Bob Dylan fan, which uh, is going to be a good thing in my book. Um, and there's things like Beatles as well, which is obviously good, but other people like John Denver, Donovan, slightly folkier stuff. Um, based on um, acoustic playing more than electric, but you could, if you're a, a beginner electric player, you could still look at these and get a lot from them. So the way they're laid out really, is really good. Um, if you came across one of these, sort of like a second-hand copy or something, um, and it was the old one, I wouldn't say, oh no, don't get that, get the new one. But there are differences, and I can see why he'd made some of the changes that he made in this one, but this is still good. So um, this is maybe slightly better. It's a bit clearer, some of the, the stuff, but there's not a lot of difference. So this got a CD with it. Um, this one hasn't, but because uh, CDs didn't exist. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that you must get the revised version, you know, the, the old one's still good. So the, the content's good in these. The, I like the, the fact he, compared to some of the other books I've looked at, in this one, he doesn't go very far with it. He, it's like for someone that, that's maybe a, not a complete beginner, but it's just mastered a few chords and hasn't been playing very long. And it just takes you a little bit further and gives you quite a lot of things to do with that, but it doesn't take you too far. And a lot of these books I've been looking at, they try to like cover 10 years worth of guitar lessons in, in one book that's that thick or something. Whereas these, uh, they don't, they just take you a little way with it. And I think it's good. I and mean, I think you get more out of one of these books than you would some of the, the bigger, sort of thicker books. Um, there's things at the beginning where he talks about um, using a capo, um, tuning the guitar, holding the guitar. I'm always a little bit wary of those kind of things. Um, you know, saying exactly where your where your thumb should be on the back of the neck and where this hand should be positioned. And I think that that's something I'm a bit wary of in books because uh, some people their hands are slightly different. You know, things are slightly different lengths, and their guitar neck will be a slightly different shape. And I think it depends on the type of guitar you're holding and 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 your own body as to how you exactly how you'd hold it but anyways I, I, I would skip past or advise skipping past stuff like that unless you're getting in a real muddle with it but in which case the best things lessons anyway um, but he goes straight into after that basic kind of introduction goes straight into playing some songs both versions do I think there might be a couple of newer things in here um, but not it doesn't go very, very up to date considering it's 2000 it, it doesn't like there's a dire straight song from 85 in here, which wouldn't have been in this one, but there it doesn't go really up to, up to sort of um, songs from around 2000. It's not a bad thing. Uh, a lot of the songs that are in here are in the newer one as well, like Blowing in the Wind. Um, yeah, so and it covers arpeggio style, which is basically finger picking, does a bit on that. It's a good book, uh, and it's still, I think it's as good now as it, as it was when I had a copy originally. So if you're okay with it being sort of mainly 60s folky type stuff, 
that you're you're learning and you're a beginner, then I think that's a good one to get. Uh, if you want more modern songs, then look at some of the other reviews that I've done, some of the uh, more recent books. But yeah, so so it's still a good book. Um, so that's the complete guitar player, book one, by Russ Shipton. Okay, thanks.